Hi everyone, I am Bindeshwar from Post Network and in this video you will know about group in algebra. So let uh, G be a non-empty set. And in operation, multiplication is defined over it. Then in algebraic structure or algebraic system, G comma star, it is written like this one. algebraic structure this is called group if it satisfies the following axioms the first one is Closure property Second Associativity Third one is existence of identity in fourth one is existence of inverse So, I will discuss one by one. So, let us discuss closure property. So, suppose A and B belongs to Z. Then, if you use operation between A and B, which is also binary operation, that must belong to Z. So this property is called closure property. Second property associativity if a b and c belongs to g then a star B star C should be equal to A star B star C. So if it is satisfied, so this is the associative property of the group if it satisfies. Third one. existence of identity the 
that means that there exists in identity element e belongs to g such that a e or e a is equal to a where a belongs to g so this is called identity identity element now the fourth property existence of universe It means that if A belongs to G, that means A G an element of G. So there exists B, which is also from G, and A star B or B star A. is equal to identity element which is also in g so this is the fourth property so if an algebraic structure g satisfies g comma star satisfies these four properties then it would be called a group let us take an example of rational numbers so i will replace z by q let us see that whether it is a group or not so i will write now algebraic structure q comma star the first property i am going to test so see, see that if i take two elements 3 that will belong to q also 5 this also belongs to q and i test 3 into 5 that would be 15 that will also belong to q so you can say that closer property closer property is satisfying now let us see the second one second one is soc activity so let us take 2 that will belong to q 3 will also belong to q and 5 that will also belong to q you see that 2 star 3 star 5 that should be equal to 2 star 3 star 5 so let us see that is 2 star 3 into 5 15 and also see that this side 2 into 3 that would be 6 into 5 that is 30 also 30 so associativity each also
also satisfied. Now let us check the next property existence of identity. So see that uh, 1 belongs to Q and also 5 belongs to Q. So see that if I write 1 star 5 that is a 5 or 5 star 1 that is a 5. That means that you can say that E A is equal to A or A E is equal to A. So here element 1 exists or you can say that there exists identity element 1. And if you multiply any element, that would be resulted in the same number. So it shows existence of identity. Now let us see the fourth property, existence of universe. So see that here 5 belongs to Q and also 1 upon 5 belongs to Q. Now see that 5 into 1 upon 5. You can also write 1 upon 5 into 5. And that would be equal to 1. And what is 1? 1 is identity. So, also it shows that there is inverse of number 5. So, it shows that existence of, of inverse. So, 1 upon 5 is inverse of 5. And if you multiply both elements or you apply the operation, binary operation, then in result you will get identity. So there exists inverse 1 upon 5 of number 5. So now rational numbers you can say that Q set of rational numbers. Satisfying all four properties. Right? So this is a group. So Q is group. I can write. So this was about group and uh, I hope you have understood what is the group in algebra. So thank you for watching the video.